Hello everyone. Have you seen doctors and nurses wearing mask while treating few patients? It is not that they are hiding their faces or because of bad smell. It is because that mask can save them. For example, if a tuberculosis patient is coughing, you get the bacteria just by standing near him. And this is because that bacteria spread through air while patient coughs or sneezes. If you breathe through a mask, that bacteria wouldn't enter along with breathe. So, diseases which are caused by microbes can spread if microbes somehow spread through air, water, touch, etc. These diseases are known as infectious diseases. Some diseases spread so easily that even going near the patient is risky. Like in the case of chicken pox, the virus spreads very easily through air or touch. Varicella zoster virus causes itchy blisters on skin. If someone touches a blister, he gets the virus. But some diseases don't spread from one person to another, like diabetes, jaundice, etc. Many of these non-infectious diseases are not caused by microbes. For example, cancer sometimes is caused by genetic abnormalities. Diabetes is caused by destruction of beta cells in pancreas. So, there is no agent involved that can spread this disease. So, in nutshell, Infectious diseases are caused by microbes which may get spread. That infectious agent which causes the disease can be a virus like in the case of chicken pox or bacteria like in the case of tuberculosis or a multicellular organism such as a worm in case of elephantiasis. Sometimes these microbes spread in air even when patients cough or sneeze and thus the disease gets transferred to other people. In some countries drinking water is scarce. If excreta of a person who is suffering from infectious gut disease gets mixed in water of lake or pond then that water gets contaminated. If anyone drinks that water he gets the disease. You know Cholera spreads very fast in African countries this way. Few organisms transmit pathogens or parasites from one person to another and spread diseases. For example, when a mosquito sucks blood of the patient suffering from dengue, malaria, it becomes the infectious agent. Then it sucks blood of another person and gives him the disease. Such organisms are called vector. That's all for now. Bye-bye.